In this tutorial about PHP comparison operators, I'm going to be showing you the operators, uh, the comparison operators that are available in PHP, and I'm also going to be giving you um, some examples of how and why they might be used, uh, just within an if statement to, um, to give you some idea. Okay, so the comparison operators that we have, first of all, equals or is equal to. So um, you know that when we assign um, a variable a value, we use the equals sign. Now to compare, we use the double equals. So it, this reads is equal to. Um, we also have uh, is not equal to. So we we use one equal sign, but we include an exclamation mark just before that. So this means is not equal to. So we've got equal to, is not equal to. Um, we've also got things like greater than. Then we've got less than. Um, we can also incorporate this again into these and we can say greater than or equal to or less than or equal to so let's just recap is equal to is not equal to is greater than is less than is greater than or equal to is less than or equal to so all you've really got to remember is when you're combining them you use one equal sign um, and uh, normally you would use just two equal signs uh, for the single, for the blunt uh, comparison between two variables or between a variable and a string or so on and so forth. Um, I mean with the um, with the not equal to is not equal to you can also use um, a greater than and a less than side by side um, as well but commonly this is used. Okay um, so these are the PHP comparison operators but how would we go about using them? So let's create a variable. The first one I'm going to create is name equals Alex. Uh, the second one I'm going to do is age equals uh, 21. And this should be enough to demonstrate everything. So I'm going to say if name equals equals Alex. And then I'm going to put my um, start my um, curly bracket and in my curly bracket so everything in here is going to be uh, echoed out so I've compared name which is a variable we've set here to uh, a standalone string value of Alex um, and this is using double equals so now I'm going to echo out um, OK so this is going to be OK if name equals Alex so let's come into our browser and refresh and we received OK so now I'm going to say if name doesn't equal Alex now name does equal Alex, so we won't be uh, we won't be given this OK message. So let's refresh again. There we go. So um, this hasn't um, this this block hasn't uh, basically executed. If we did have an else on here, um, we can say else not OK, for example. So let's refresh. Not OK. OK. So um, or this really should be not true and true because in actual fact we're validating what's inside these brackets and if it is true we're obviously echoing this block otherwise this so we're using comparison operators to create these for ourselves now let's move on to um, let's move on to age so if age is greater than um, let's say 18 so at the moment this is true so we should uh, we should receive uh, true here that's true um, because the great uh, age is greater to, than this standalone um, integer I've created here then uh, that's fine if I was to create say 49 or type 49 and refresh we're going to be left with not true because age is not greater than 49 therefore this statement is rendered false so um, everything in the else is ex executed um, now what we could do is say if age is greater than or equal to 21 so let's refresh that will be true um, if we were to take away this if it's greater than 21 it's anything from 21 up including decimal values so this is not true because age isn't greater than 21 it's it's equal to it so we can use greater than or equal to 21 uh, the same with less than or equal to 21 um, at the moment this is true because it still equals 21 uh, if age is less than 21 which it isn't so we're going to return false so it's exactly the same um, as greater than or equal to or less than or equal to because the value is still equal 
this tree will be executed. Um, then what we can also do is we can um, obviously have the um, not equal, so if it doesn't equal uh, 18, for example, then echo true, which it will be at the moment. Um, if age um, doesn't equal 21, obviously at the moment we're echoing not true because it does equal 21. So that's just a, um, a quick example of how you would use a um, comparison operator in PHP. Now what I'm going to do is create um, a more of a real life example. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with um, status equals false. Um, now this is a boolean um, value so it's, it's basically false um, and I'm also up here going to say age equals 21. Okay so um, status equals false. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if age is greater than or equal to 21 and in here I'm going to say status equals true okay now my age is 21 so my the status has been set to true um, this is basically just going to be let's say it could be uh, somewhere where you have to be over 21 to enter or something you have to buy so status now equals true the reason we've declared status as false beforehand is because um, we we uh, want to say guilty before sort of proven innocent so if we come up here and then we say if status equals equals true you're allowed and again we'll just uh, put a slash there because I'm using um, a, uh, a single quotation mark so else if status equals equals false sorry not allowed now the first thing we're doing is we're setting the age to 21 which could be user inputted but you'll learn about that a bit later on um, we're setting the status to false because we're going to automatically assume that I'm not allowed um, if the age is greater than or equal to 21, so if it's if for example it was my 21st birthday, I'm still regarded as older than 21. It could be an hour older than 21. It could be a day older than 21. Then we're going to set the status to true. Otherwise, it's going to remain as false. So you can see now why we've put this line in here. Um, then underneath this, we have a comparison. So we have if status equals equals true, then I'm allowed. Otherwise, if status equals false, sorry, you're not allowed. Um, so let's give this a run, see what happens. It says you're allowed. Now if I was to change this up here to 18, sorry not allowed. Now the reason I've done this is because I'm just introducing the idea of boolean. Now these are really really useful when you're using say a loop. When you come out of a loop you might want to um, check if the uh, status is set to true for example you might loop through a list of uh, a list of data and you might say um, you want to see if something's found in this list of data so you if say you had a list of one two three four five and you were checking for the number three when it hits number three status could be set to true then afterwards you could echo out to save you echoing inside the loop this may not make sense but this is a really great concept to grasp of using this guilty before proven innocent thing um, it really really works well in a lot of programs